I mean, for someone who was the former, you know, state minister for fisheries, I don't think he's ever eaten fish before. Did someone tell this guy that it's typically cooked? Um, but, but, you know, someone's like, hey, listen, man, listen, Dilip, you're going to go on stage, eat some fish. It's kind of going to take on a fish. <laughs> yep. So we're talking about a former state minister of, of fisheries, Dilip Bedarachi, yeah. um, who um, the other day was at a press conference and he thought, you know what, I'm here to make a point. I'm here to talk about fish. People aren't eating fish. And he thought chomping on a raw fish in mm. front of um, everyone that was at the press conference was yeah. the best idea to do so. Right. Um, whether he got the point across or not, he's made international headlines. And I'm just going to give you a few uh, few articles here. Okay. So he's been featured, uh, Yahoo News. He's a big deal right there at the front. Um, the, the Daily Mail. Yeah. Right? And we know how big the Daily Mail is. Sure. Uh, and we're talking about the Telegraph in the UK. Uh, Dunya News. So that must be somewhere in the UAE, I would assume. Um, Reuters covered this story. CNN covered this story. Um, the Deccan Herald in India covered this story. Among some of the the larger publications yeah. um, across the world. Listen, you can't ignore something like Man. that. When you've got a former uh, Minister of Fisheries <laughs> coming out and saying, hey, listen, right. I'm going above and beyond the call of duty to let my people know right. that it is, in fact, safe. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I were going to do it myself. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Come on, bring the bag. Right. So, you know, uh, Nimon brings the bag out and he, he grabs it, waves it around and be like, look, this is this is gold it's right here. Back. Yeah. <laughs> well, the you know, to be fair, the fish industry has been, you know, suffering have, as yeah. a result of right. people being afraid to eat fish because they've been hearing um, that you can catch the virus by eating fish. And if you've got <laughs> rumors like this that perpetuate, it's been carried <laughs> in newspapers, it's been whispered about yeah. at, you know, your, you know, your local boutique or whatever right, right. it is. Is and it's been going from house to house, you Man. would be deathly afraid. And this, these are the masses. These are people that, you know, can't store their fish, right. that don't have refrigerators. They buy their right. daily consumption. And in reality, um, something like this would allow them to see, hey... Yeah. If so and so is going to go ahead and do this, I guess it must be okay. Now that doesn't mean <laughs> that's that, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I know. So, you know. I mean, for someone who was the former, you know, state minister for fisheries, I don't think he's ever eaten fish before. Did someone tell this guy that it's typically cooked? Um, but, but you know, someone's like, "Hey, listen, man, listen, Dilip, you're going to go on stage, eat some fish, show them that it's fine." Um, so I, I just don't know. Has he eaten fish before? But I get it. It's a spectacle, right? And I think he's achieved that. So he's kind of brought that issue to the limelight, really. Yeah. So like, It's that sensationalism is. that is required to be able to make a point sometimes. That's what I'm saying. And it's made the point. Yeah. But perhaps we'll see. So what we're laughing demand. here, he's just a genius is what we're saying. Right. Um, so he, he got us all talking about it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm sure at the back of your mind, you're thinking, fish, man, there's a lot of fish that isn't being eaten. Yeah. That's rotting away. Exactly. Um, and I think... Subconsciously, um, he's kind of brought that to the forefront, which I think is quite genius. Uh, but the GMO, though, at the same time, came out to say, hey, look, uh, referring to the incident where the former minister uh, consumed a raw fish at a news briefing, uh, the Government Medical Officers Association wants you to know that eating raw fish could be harmful to the body. Um, <laughs> there's bacteria on the skin and parasites. That's not good for the human body. So be sure to cook and wash and uh, consume fish how you normally would. Look, don't be surprised if that spokesperson is moved to another uh, you know, Department. line of duty uh, anytime soon. But at the same time, <laughs> right. there's space over there. Uh, they're looking for a PA, no. <laughs> the Likes 87 video podcast is brought to you by Sailak, brought to you by Jat, Sri Lanka's number one wood coating brand. Works great on indoor and outdoor exterior and interior surfaces, doors, windows, cabinets, tables, garden furniture, even wooden flooring. Sailak is your number one product to take care of all of that. Make sure that they last generations brought to you exclusively by Jat. Also, Sri Lanka Insurance Motor Plus, the best option when it comes to protecting you while you're on the road as you drive the nation forward. Sri Lanka Insurance Motor Plus want to keep you safe and protected. Thank you so much for making this possible.